hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you for coming back and if you are new welcome today I'm going to film another empties video um, I have quite a few products to go through so I'm gonna get right in I'm not going in any particular order I'm just gonna tell you guys what I have that are empty and if I if it was a hit or a miss the first one is the makeup primer spray by skin it's oil control majority of my products that I use will say oil control just because I have oily skin and I always look for products that will minimize or help my skin look less oily to me it was a a miss I prefer different type of primer like the Smashbox or like I mentioned in my favorites video the one by Lancome the prep and matte or also the one by makeup forever the step one those are the types of primers that I prefer to use for, for me this was a miss however the nozzle is perfect the spray is perfect the mist is perfect but I did not really enjoy this as a primer the finishing spray by Scandinavia as well is also oil control. It has a fine mist, oil free, paraben free. It is the same as the primer, but I did, this for me was a hit. I would compare this finishing spray to the Urban Decay All Nighter because I feel like they're from like the same company, honestly. The mist of course is perfect, just like the Urban Decay. Although I did not enjoy the primer spray as much, I totally love the finishing spray but I loved one more than I love the other just because I prefer a different type of primer so this was the makeup finishing spray by Scandinavia this is the unlimited mascara by L'Oreal to me I was very intrigued by this because of the applicator so you could go straight like this or you could go like this for a more angled application whenever you're doing like the outer lashes or the lower lashes i prefer the telescopic mascara by l'oreal it's just a thinner one it applies perfectly it's an old oldie but a goodie um i did not like this very much and it's probably still i could probably still use it but i i think i'm i'm done with it because i just didn't reach for it as often so for me the unlimited mascara by l'oreal was a miss i have take the day off makeup remover by Clinique this is okay it removes uh, makeup from the lids the lashes and the lips this is pretty good I still have a little bit left in it I have not found many products from the line that I, I have fallen in love with I much prefer the one by Lancome the bifacil face as well as the bifacil for the eyes so this for me was also a miss but it works guys it works I just didn't I'm just not crazy about it sometimes I forget I have it and I will just use it when I cannot find like my other favorite um, it is it works it does what it says or it claims to do I just don't reach for it as often as I reach for my other ones okay here we have the always on in the shade out loud by Smashbox. I have it on right now because I literally scraped inside so I could get this look but the shade is beautiful as you can see very very pigmented I will be repurchasing this in the future all the lipsticks from Smashbox are especially in this line the always on they are stunning this for me was an absolute hit and I would definitely repurchase this again. This is the Seal Booster by Lancome. This is a primer, an eye primer. It is, it is a Lancome staple. It goes on white, like it takes forever to finish, first of all. It goes on white like this, and then you go in immediately after you apply the Seal Booster with your mascara. It's the eyelashes fuller. I'm thicker looking because I barely have any visible. I tend to have a more defined lower lash um, situation going on. So the Seal Booster by Lancome, um, very good. Always a staple. It takes forever to finish. And I, for me, this is a hit. No surprise. I thoroughly enjoy Lancome products and this is no different. So definitely love, love, love this. Truth foaming cleanser that I purchased at TJ Maxx by Ole 
Henriksen, I think that's how you pronounce it. This is good. It smells like oranges. So refreshing. Like this is a great cleanser to me. It was a hit. I enjoyed putting it on my face because whenever I cleansed my face, an instant burst of freshness, you know, because it's the citrusy scent that it has. It's amazing. Love this. Definitely a hit. The next empty that I have is by Shea Moisture. This is the fruit fusion coconut water with less shampoo um, with imbe or imbi oil and aloe it's lightweight hydration for fine wavy curly hair this is okay i enjoy the shea moisture line the general ingredients are the same give or take a few i love shea moisture it works every time it didn't do anything revolutionary for me but it was good so for me it was a hit i like this i don't love it i like it I love Shea Moisture. There are no sulfates, no parabens, no propylene, no mineral oil, no animal testing. I mean, you cannot go wrong with using this product because it's very, it's not harsh on the hair, it's not over drying. It is gentle and it cleanses, it works. Love it. This is the Go Fresh by Dove. Very refreshing. I use this all summer because I just prefer using something that's lightweight in a spray form during the summer. I have per since purchased my um, two replacements because I just prefer using this as opposed to the deodorant gel applicator. But I use it sometimes as well. I love this so much. To me, it is a hit because it works. It smells great. It keeps me dry. I enjoy using it. I love this thing so much. This is the Rehydration Treatment Mask. This one is with coconut oil and Acacia Senegal for all hair types. And it has 100% virgin coconut oil. I love deep conditioning my hair at least once a week. I try to at least once a week. After I shampoo, I put this in, put on a shower cap or a conditioning cap. I sit for about 20 minutes, more or less. And make sure that my hair absorbs the product as you can see i definitely used every single drop of this mask and i am i'm very i go very heavy when i use it so i i do not go with a light hand y'all i love using this it works it the hair feels great it looks healthy after application so once a week might be a lot for some people but i do have problematic scalp and so i have to shampoo pretty often and whenever i do i try to make sure i deep condition because it's good for the hair and um, it keeps it nice and healthy and bouncy and i'm talking about my short natural hair so love this this is the jamaican black castor oil strengthen and restore conditioner this is very good i love how this feels after a shampoo when i'm not deep conditioning I go in with the conditioner it doesn't really matter which one I use because I'm not very picky about staying to stick into one specific line I use whichever whenever I will just grab and go sometimes I got this one also at TJ Maxx it has shea butter peppermint and apple cider vinegar it feels good the Jamaican black castor oil in there also I feel like it helps and um, helps restore the natural state of my hair. It is restorative. I think I enjoy this more so as the conditioner than the rehydrating treatment mask because of how my hair feels. For me, did I say that this was a hit? This was a hit and this is definitely, absolutely a hit for me. I love it so much. Shea Moisture never disappoints. I have one body wash, moisturizing body wash by Bath & Body Works. The gingham this one has shea butter and cocoa butter it's very moisturizing in the shower to me this was a hit i feel like i'm <laughs> winded y'all <laughs> so this was definitely a hit because i love an in shower moisturizing body wash and i do not need to apply moisturizer after i've showered with this because it's so moisturizing i enjoy it like i said previous in my previous empties a while ago I will link that video. I enjoy all the body products by Bath & Body Works. It is a hit and I will repurchase this. This is the Birch & Argan Body Oil by Bath & Body Works with pure argan oil. This is, it feels good on the skin. I don't know if I 
particularly enjoyed the birch and argan and even if i love bath and body products like immensely i don't think that this was a hit this was definitely a miss for me because it did the job but i was not particularly in love with this scent per se of course if i buy it i'm gonna use it and that is why it is pretty much empty right now but i will repurchase the body oil just not in this scent so it works perfectly I do not like the birch. I think mostly the birch scent in it. That's what I don't like. But um, this one, this particular scent was a miss because I did not like the scent. But the actual product itself worked fabulously. This is an ingrown hair serum. If you get a body wax, um, this is good for ingrown hairs if you have that problem. I was not very... I was not very diligent about using it so sometimes I remembered sometimes I didn't and I still had ingrown hairs in that situation going on so for me this was a miss but does it work I think it does I I did not use it well enough and of course nobody likes ingrown hairs so you would think that I would be a little more disciplined in using it my friend Misty bought this for me is the eos evolution of smooth this is the delicate petals body lotion it claims to give you visibly softer more beautiful skin it is enriched with natural shea butter vitamin e avocado oil 24 hour moisture fast absorbing for me it was a miss because i did not think it was very moisturizing at all it might be because it is mineral oil free paraben free and all that stuff but it did not moisturize me as much as I would like it to. Of course, like I always say, if I got it, I'm going to use it. The scent is pleasant. It has a very pleasant scent. But but I did not enjoy it because I still felt like it's almost like I did not apply anything at all on my, on my body. And so, yeah, I use the whole thing. If I spend the money or if I'm gifted something, I'm going to use it. Once it's not irritating to my skin, I'm going to use it. It did not work out for me so for me it was a miss our final product today is the la vie belle fragrance the body lotion you can purchase this by itself or sometimes it comes in a set this is the sister pretty much to what i mentioned earlier la vie belle perfume you pair this after you shower with this perfume and you're literally a walking garden of flowers like you smell so good oh my gosh and although it is let's see how much it is a 6.7 fluid ounce but i felt like it lasted me forever i've had this for a long time it also has some shimmer particles in there so when you put it on your body's like glistening i love this so much no surprise because it smells exactly like the la vie belle perfume eau de parfum this is a beautiful fragrance lotion. You will love it. Avia Belle Le de Parfum Nutritif Nourishing Fragrance Body Lotion is definitely a hit because I loved it. I used every drop of it. And I also like the bonus shimmer particles in there because it just makes you look, you know, like you just glow. Yeah, you get this inner glow. So love, love, love this. That is it, guys. I think I ran through that because I was talking so fast. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. The look I'm wearing on my eyes today, this is the actual look I did for my No Mirror Makeup Challenge. Today, I used the mirror, obviously, but I just wanted to use the same colors that I used them because of this sweater. I thought it would go very well with that. So very fall appropriate. Um, again, thank you so much for watching, as always. And um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.